Alright guys, what's going on? Today I am going to show you how to install custom firmware 6.60 ME-1 on your PlayStation Portable device. This is a hard custom firmware. This is only out for the PSP 1000 and 2000 hackable models right now. Light custom firmware will be released soon. So uh, if you will, you can stay up to date. Check out my website and blog on the top of the screen here. You will see uh, the links. And uh, so yeah, without further ado let's get into this so basically I'm gonna have you download two files I will have the links for you guys and uh, one of the things you're gonna download is the 660 official firmware PVP it's 31 megabytes and then the custom firmware ME-1 now if you download those two files open up the custom firmware and uh, you're gonna use an extraction program if not right click on it and say extract the desktop just like this Boom. extract files dot 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 Anyways, so you're going to see a readme text and the release 660ME. If you open that up, you're going to see the LEDA update and uh, the translate and the update folder. Inside the update, you'll see the eBoot. Readme text will show you how to install this if this video is not good enough for you. <coughs> so, now, what you're going to do is take your PSP and turn it on like so and connect it into USB mode so we're gonna do that now what the fuck, without scanning okay now open this up here and go to the removable disk K uh, or you can go to it this way just go start and then computer and select removable disk K. It looks like I'm gonna have to delete some things. Oh god, this movie was uh, kinda gay. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Alright, so we're on the root of the PSP memory stick right now. I don't even use this anymore, so I'm gonna delete that. Don't even use that anymore. Well, I don't know, I might save that. This one? That has to stay there and that has to stay there. Okay, anyways. So, what you're gonna do is simply for the official firmware 660 you're going to take that and drag and drop that onto the PSP root of the memory stick so allow that to copy over like so now we're going to confirm that we're on the removable disk root of the memory stick of the PSP which is 660 PVP make sure that's on the root and then go into the PSP folder and go to the game folder delete whatever update folder you have in there if you have that in there at all if not don't worry about it and drag and drop the update folder into the PSP game folder from the extracted custom firmware files now what you're going to do is you're going to go back to the root of the memory stick and right click and create a new folder if you haven't already and call it SE plugins like so double click and open that up what you're going to do is open up the LEDA folder inside the extracted custom firmware files that you have and drag and drop the LED a PRX into that spot now if you've done this already move and replace it if not it's just gonna go over like so and then inside the game text I believe it is you're gonna see uh, you're gonna make a new game text if you haven't already so right click on the folder and select new and text document which is right here do, 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 do. and you're gonna call it game in lowercase letters open that up and you're gonna type this right here that I have highlighted ms0 colon slash se plugins slash leda dot prx space one once you've written that exit and save that and then you can exit the PSP memory stick I will have that written down in the description below the video for you so yeah after that you're gonna exit USB mode on your PSP and you're going to scroll over till you see the game memory stick and open up the memory stick and if you have game categories it's going to be underneath uncategorized if you do not then don't worry about it it should be the first one you put on your memory stick and you're going to see PSP update version 6.60 what you're going to do is start that up <coughs> Thank you.
change. It says MS0 colon slash PSP slash game slash six six point or six six zero point PVP. It doesn't say anything about putting it in the update folder with the update. Okay. Well, put it in the update folder with the custom firmware update. Run it on the XMB and press X when you get to the screen after it verifies. The screen is going to flash blue. That's normal, just like all the other ME firmwares. And the SCE updater tool should start. Three, two, one. Hello. There we are. Start the update. <laughs> System update, software license agreement, blah, blah, blah. Except X to start. Cool. So now, because I'm so great and I forgot what button to press with this. Can I see this? How do I pause? Pausing. I'll be right back. Okay, so again, I would like to apologize for the little mismatched scrumble scramble that I had in this fucking video. Um, so basically, I'm going to recap on what you need to do. So I'm going to point. The 660 PVP goes into the PSP game and then the update folder. So first thing what you're going to do is take the custom firmware files and open them up or extract them to your desktop. You're going to see the release 66ME folder. Open that up and you will see the update folder. Take the update folder, you're going to put that in the PSP game folder on the memory stick. And the LEDA is the PRX file that you're going to need to put in your SE plugins folder along in the game text MS0 colon slash SE plugins slash LEDA PRX space 1. Make sure there's a space and one. Again, I will have that written in the dialog box below. Now, inside this update folder right here, you're going to put the 660 PBP. <sighs> to make life easier for you, I'm going to do this. And you can see me doing that. I'm going to compact this file into the update folder so all you have to do is open up the custom firmware files first and and just drag and drop this update folder onto the PSP memory stick on in PSP game folder so just put the update folder in the game folder and run it on the XMB and you'll be fine so that's there for you this is totally useless and this is totally useless so I'm deleting that because it's fucking garbage and they didn't explain how to install this correctly. So again, I apologize. And this is all set for you. Translate. Don't need that either. So when you download the custom firmware files, you're going to see the LEDA folder with a readme text in it, just in case, and the PRX. And you know what? I'm just going to do this for you right here. <laughs> ms0 colon slash se plugins oops slash ledap dot prx space one exit save yes Open that up okay that's good and I'm just gonna call this gam game awesome see how easy that is I just remade the custom firmware for you like easy as that okay so recap download custom firmware files you're gonna see the update folder the 660 PVP and the eboot.pvp the eboot is the custom firmware the 660 is the official firmware PVP what you're gonna do is take the update folder and put it in the PSP game folder and the LEDA just Make NSE plugins folder and take the game text and the LEDA PRX 
and drag and drop that into your SE plugins folder as well. If you already have the LEDA, replace it because this is a new one for this firmware and the game text, just open that up, copy that and paste that in the game text. So that's how you do that. I will have the link also for the official firmware as well, just in case you want it, just only the official firmware. And uh, yeah, so that's that. Now, this is finally done updating. Get off my floor. So hit X to restart the system. <clears throat> Stop telling me this. I don't like you. I'm gonna update my RAM. Rebooting. So, if we scroll over to system information and system settings, you'll have 6.60 ME for your custom firmware. So, that's that. Watch the review on this custom firmware that I will be making in the note box over there, probably. Uh, shit. I mean, yeah. Top right corner. So, again, sorry for the mishap. I will have everything explained in the info below. Rate, comment, subscribe. Have any questions? I'll be happy to reply. Send me a message. Send me a comment. Uh, be sure to check out my website and my blog again. And if you have a Google blog account, please, please, please follow my blog because I would love to have more followers on that because I only have two right now. It's kind of gay. Um... But uh, other than that, also don't forget about my moderator. Oh, shit. I got to make that video tonight for your questions answered. This will be episode five coming up this week. And next week will be episode six. So make sure you ask your questions in the moderator on my channel. Other than that, I'll talk to you later. Take it easy, guys. And more videos coming your way. And again, sorry for this crap that happened in this video because sometimes I'm stupid.